I am the friend in the neighborhood of Moon Minute, and the perfect wrestling video game should allow you to create the story. You write it, you don't finish it, not like Cody, you get to write the video game, you get to write the video game, you get to choose everything that happens in that story mode, and you get to choose the characters that play that part. I am the friend in the neighborhood, Moon Minute. as ever, I am the person who creates WWE 2K content every year. However, I am branching out into some more games, so just to broaden my horizons a little bit. We've got some Journey Wrestling content coming up, and we have AEW Fight Forever maybe coming up as well. And I'm looking forward to the Wrestling Code. Now, I've always thought what would be the perfect wrestling game for people who like to create original wrestlers. People like myself and people like you if you're tuning in. So I'm guessing from the thumbnail and the, the title, that is why you're here, because this video is about the perfect wrestling video game us creators now i'm going to get into it if you are new to the channel think about subscribing and leaving a comment below on like the video share it with your friends quality gameplay it's got to be in there good collision detection good quality a good blend between arcade and realism it should be easy for the average door to pick up but it's going to be aimed more at the person that plays video games and wants an added realism so they can show their stuff off on social media let's be honest that's why we do it that's why we create our original content to share with others okay if we had a good damage system as well that really shows the effects of foreign objects and the finishes taken the toll of a match Iron Man matches that sort of thing and the stamina really shows the effect of someone getting hit by an RKO out of nowhere, then that would be really good as well. Sometimes I think 2K at the moment gets that right, it doesn't do. I have seen people being put through a table, pop straight back up, like a no cell. But that shouldn't be happening, unless you're John Cena or Hulk Hogan, maybe. I don't know. But that is what I would say for the gameplay. However, I think the storyline and a GM slash universe mode should all be kind of inter interblended. So we all create our own video game characters when it comes to WWE 2K. We all create them on other games. I've been creating some form of wrestler probably since I was a little kid. Now imagine if you what you create is the basis of your story mode. Now think about 2K19 and coming up in the next one. People on the Indies is where you start and 2K19 had BCW. Imagine in BCW that you as the person who got to, if I got to create PWA and my character came from PWA and the belts were PWA and the arenas were PWA. Do you see what I'm going with this? <laughs> if you could create it, when you're doing the story, it asks you to select from the creations you've already made. So this character's going to be in it, this character's going to be in it. You need to choose a bad guy, you need to choose a good guy, you need to choose a friend, you need to choose a manager. It may make you stop and go back and create those characters. However, you get to choose where those characters come from. The voice, the acting, the look, the appeal, how they play in game. You get to choose because you've already created the character and the game asks you which characters do you want to be featured in your story. Okay. I remember a really good, um, I can't remember, one of the Smackdown vs Raw where Teddy Long got run over. You could create the character's um, voice. You got to choose a voiceover. And I think that element was really, really missing in every iteration since. So that leads me to do going on into the universe mode. It should be fleshed out. It should be more, like I said, it should be a mode that the story mode can pull from. So whatever you create in universe mode or in your creation suite can be picked from from story mode and brought back in to any other place, okay? You can set the characters, how they act, how they perform, what the kind of match style is going to be and how they play. How the audience reacts to them. How they are normally f featured on social media and things like that. So would Dave Meltzer really, really like them? Would um, they be marvelled because of their strong style moveset? Would they be marvelled and complained about because they're very wooden in the ring and or green? Would be they be marvelled or complained about because they botch? Would they be marvelled because they're super over with the kids? That sort of thing. Every attention to detail is what you pick from. So you could have a Super Cena sort of character and when you're not playing as that person, when you do see the Sim, that person's winning a lot, okay? You also get to choose the storylines and the rivalries. So I do remember back in the old GM mod, you got to choose the rivalries of what that was playing out. It could be over a woman, it could be over a man, it could be um, US patriotic sort of storyline, up and comer, rookie versus veteran, that sort of thing. If you set a universe mod and then play a few seasons and those are the stories that you want to see come up, that would be pretty cool. You don't get to see what the stories are, but at the end of the day, you do write the story. It's your book and you do all the booking. You set up how that person, you are... No, I'm not going to say Vince McMahon, not, not at the moment. You are the booker of the year. You are the person that actually comes across in that. And then, obviously, the creation suite. The creation suite needs to be the best possible creation suite on the market at the moment to attract 
those people who are casually picking up 2K, complaining about the creation suite and wanting additional things. They need to be listening. They need to be listening to the people that complain. The, the, the things in there that they complain about come up every single year. And I've said it in a previous video. If a game came out with those features on, they would go and buy that game over 2K. They're not going to waste the money on 2K when there's a video game here in the palm of their hand doing the same thing. So you want to perform with options of names, clothings, nicknames. You want to be able to scan and do textures quite easily. Face scan is something that people have said. The NBA face scan's really good. Why can't we do that in 2K games? It's never ending. You, they're always adding to it as well. So it's kind of a paid, not a paid, like, not a battle pass. It's not that. <coughs> Excuse me. It's not a battle pass, but you do pay for additional things that they create in the game. You buy the base game and it continues there and therefore. Okay. Social media focus on creators on the community as well needs to pay a part. So every month it could be we've chose this person to look at. I think you should go and download their, de their um, created wrestlers. Here they are. They put them in a pack for you. It's not chargeable. It is a free pack that they put together from the community creations and social media traction. And you can use the hashtags from whatever game it is to make sure those are picked up and the game creator is tracking all that information. The morphing needs to be top notch as well. Body, feet, arms, legs, other parts of the body, custom nipples, we all know about them. Big head, small head, little person, big person. Whatever you want to do, you can do it and it is done. Um, and then obviously different hairstyles and wigs depending on what your preference is and how you, you're describing that. I don't think it matters, but it has been a subject of discussion which I've shared before. <laughs> Finally, as I said, it is a one-off game. It's a one-off purchase. The new stories, new characters and feedback is implemented all from community feedback going through the game. It's not a battle pass, but it's optional DLC and some of it for free that continually improves the game. There's games out there, I think if Journey of Wrestling is pretty good, I've not played it properly, but Journey of Wrestling has got quite an in-depth universe creation aspect to it. If that was in a semi-really good video game, like Fire Pro, look how well that does to say the graphics aren't great. I just think you'd have a really good game on your hands and I do think, I actually personally love the aspect and the thought of being able to jump into a game creating a bunch of characters and then making a story based on the characters that i've just created i think that would be a really good game going forward let me know if you do agree i don't know why my voice went up then but there you go let me know if you do agree and let me know in the comments like and subscribe everything on my social medias will be in the description below twitter twitch that sort of thing we are going to be regularly streaming on twitch when 2k24 comes out i'm going to be detailing every aspect of building your own wrestler and universe as well. Hit me up. Thank you very much for your time. I'm the friendly neighborhood movement, and I hope to see you soon.